Hello and welcome into the SoRare Data Show. I am Andrew Laird. You can find me as Lairdino on SoRare. Whew. Man, I'm exhausted. I feel like a lot of people are. New SoRare gameplay is live and yeah, it's um, it's a lot, huh? It's a lot. Shout out to everyone here. Appreciate everyone coming into the chat as well. Toby said, it's very needed. Building lineups has been so stressful. That needed is the breath. Bob Franklin, what's up? And Peter, you are also on the podium. Looking forward to taking a step back for a day. That's, yeah. Happy Good Friday to those who, who celebrate. I think, I don't know if we'll have more people here or fewer people here. I'm here. So um, thank you to everybody. Uh, Petter, what's up? Philly Dilly, breathe in, breathe out. And yes, there is a midweek EPL slate next week. Surf was up. You were early. John Andrews, hello. Parrot Press, earphones in, going on a big walk. Let's go. Ah, I'm a huge fan of walking. Huge fan. So I hope you're uh, enjoying a nice day outside, Parrot. Uh, and if anybody didn't catch our show yesterday with Parrot Press, go check that out. That was uh, very entertaining. Uh, even got a little um, philosophical by the end. Maybe. We'll see. SR Monkey, what's up? Toby said, I missed the breathing part, though. Pretty sure I already set all my lineups for Game Week 464, which is next midweek. Michael, what's up? Mike Bassin, it's Friday. It's 4 p.m. It's, yeah, my bad. Not my bad, but yeah. I'm, a, I'm an hour early this week, and um, next week, I won't be. Uh, Zoras, hello. What else you got here, Mike? Well, that was the end of, of winging weekend lineups on a Friday morning whilst at work. That was a full-time job in and itself today. Carol, well, that was an exhausting day. Yeah, it's it's a lot. Um, Alex Wilson, it's Friday. Spring is almost here. Nothing can go wrong this weekend, right? No, no, just a game, just a game. So our Ben's tough day need to also take a break, man. You have, I've aged today. Have I? Hmm. Chani. Hello friends. What's up? So midweeks are just as usual or what I'm confused. We'll get into that a little bit because it is a little confusing. Red or dead 69, Shaforkel, Arthur, appreciate you guys coming in. Belisarius, hello. Chris Holt, Peter doing job. Peter crushing it with those spreadsheets. Uh, well, it's not just spreadsheets. but uh, Adam, hello. We've got a ghost here saying entering lineups was a workout today. Yeah. Sora Holland, hello. David Taylor, any idea how the promotion and relegation will work if I get promoted? More likely relegated, but do I then go into Division One, for example, in the midweek, or do I go to Division One next weekend, game week? So we don't know. And Toby said, spring, it's snowing like crazy here. Oh, so Radik, what's up? Need a drink after lineup lock. Yeah. So, oh, I was going to make a whole joke of like how I need a cigarette now. I don't smoke anymore, but um, I, I missed it. Carol, 10 teams having league games and division structure opens, right? Uh, that is correct. That is, the, uh, that is the rule we've been told. But we have to just be careful because there are teams that are playing continental competitions. So they're not... Uh, not domestic league games, which is why teams that are like in Copa Libertadores are not in contenders or challengers because they're not domestic league matches. That's why we still thankfully have all-star and global. I will say that the announcement about that was really confusing, which is why people are confused. Jorge, what's up? Um, Michael said, so bizarre being live, listening to you at 1x speed. Oh, so you're another one of those. Well, you're. I was going to call you a psycho, but I realized one and a half is not that fat, bad. It's the Gator guy 2X or 2.5X where he's nuts. And Mike Basson's right. Please, uh, if you guys could hit the like button, it's greatly appreciated. Um, Peter said, I think it would be a full week after because the lineup doesn't close and get processed until after the next week closes. So I saw, and yeah, Mike, no special weekly for this game week. So the announcement was really confusing because they were basically like, we're going to do a big special weekly for when the Champions League is back. And oh, and there's also Copa Libertadores and Sudamericana, completely ignoring that there's Copa Libertadores this upcoming midweek. And so that's where it gets confusing because they were like, but don't worry, as a, there was a like an as a result in the, I don't even want to pull it up because it just like confuses more people. But I think what's in the lobby now is what we're going to get. And so like I was looking at contenders earlier. I have a lot of contenders cards that are playing in Copa Libertadores. And they're not going to be in contenders. So yeah, there's that. Um, so on the promotion relegation thing, 
there were there was a weird thing that someone shared with me and I don't know if I'm supposed to say that I got I heard it from them so I'm not going to but basically it sounds like it sounds like they don't know and so that like I'm hearing like third hand. So I don't want, I don't want to say what the situation is, but it did sound like there was going to be a potentially weird situation where like, if you had a division one lineup, if you were division one and division two in on the weekend, like right now, this current game week, we just did our lineups for, and then you go into the midweek and it looks like you have division one and division two again, because there hasn't been any promotion and relegation. If your division two gets promoted in the midweek, you'll have two division one lineups. I don't know if that's the case, but it sounds like it could like move before or after. Excuse me. It could move like either after the lineups are submitted or before the next game week, which I think is a disaster. Like, I really hope that's not what happens and that they really just do promotion and relegation on weekends. And in midweeks, you just get what you had the last weekend. Like, I really, really hope that's the case because it just becomes way like, one of the things that came up in a discord I'm in today was that the game lobby feels like it was set up by people who just don't, didn't take into account all the considerations of promotion and relegation and, or really a couple things, but one of the confusing things. So I'll put it this way. So I've said like a number of times, like the, the goal is to get everyone to want to compete at the highest level. So it's all like, all we should do is try to get three lineups in division one. Like that's, that's what we should want to do. And everything we do should be towards that goal. And there was no consideration. It feels like, oh, my division one entry or excuse me, my best lineup is just not that good this week. So I'm not going to play a division one lineup. And so when they were like, oh, if you don't play a lineup, like you won't get relegated. And I think when in their mind, the whole like not playing a, a lineup in division one, like not entering division one, if you have an entry is because maybe it's like the off season, you know, you have heavy European cards and you go into the summer and everyone's like, oh, that stinks. So like, I'm going to get relegated because I don't have summer cards. And they're like, oh, no, no, don't worry. You won't get relegated if you don't submit a lineup. Which is one of those things that it's like, oh, that's a solution. But it also creates a gigantic loophole that I know some people in this chat are taking advantage of this week, that they have Division One entries and didn't feel like their lineup was their, their best lineup in that competition was, was great. And so they were like, I'm going to skip division one this week, I'll play division two or division three or whatever, a lower one. So I can keep my division one for later. And that's not good. Like that, that's not, I don't see how this works. I, I, I actually don't see how it works. And so um, Peter said, division one is worth so much more. Not knowing where you'll be playing is bad. Hard to value your best lineup properly. Like, Peter values lineups way different than I think everybody. I don't know if it's right or wrong, but it's it's different. Like he he actually wants to put like a specific value on lineups based on the rewards he can win, which I think is like a, it's an intelligent way to do it. I don't necessarily go that way, but I understand why he does and why other people try to do it. And yeah, not knowing your division until like much later in the game week just doesn't feel like it's a, a positive for us. Um, so Philly Dilly said, I know super rare is getting a lot of hate lately, but in classic premier league division two is awarding six cards and 51 loot boxes with 34 entries. Can't complain about it. that's wild. Um, uh, so blue tomato said, I think they said it will be like that until August and maybe they change it then. So that was another thing. And I, I'm glad this came up. So I, I've been under the impression that in August they will change it. And uh, 
a few people have reached out to me and they're like, they're not definitely changing it. Like it's possible that after August, if you don't play a lineup in division or in any division, you don't get relegated. And so it's, we're just going to see what happens. Um, and Ian, I'm with, I'm with Ian on this one. I'm just going to win everything. So relegation isn't an issue, which is perfect. Um, Agent Cooper said, this is what the transition period is for, I suppose, destined to be a teething problem, destined to be teething problem, excuse me, as long as they accidentally reward us all stars and tier ones when we're supposed to get tier fours and fives. Yeah, that would be nice. Um, MLS Sorer Scout said, I did that for in-season. I don't have the in-season MLS gallery to justify competing in Division One yet. Yeah. Um, and so Smooky, that's not a name I'm familiar with, so welcome. Best feature of the update is now you can edit team names, which I didn't do because it took me so long to move my teams from Sorer Data to Sorer. And then I was just so, I was so nervous that I either forgot one or miss, uh, you know, misclicked on something, and it took me so long to like figure out how to see all my teams. And I, I, I still don't think there's a way to see all of your teams at once. You can do it like per competition, but it, <clears throat> it just takes some getting used to. Um, I think, like, I, I, I can't. Based on my single game week. Of putting my lineups in, I don't think it has. It will like the layout of the lobby will stay this way, but it was it was confusing for me. Um, so it's different. It's change, and and sometimes just something being different makes people think they don't like it when in reality they just need to settle down. Um, I mean, the number of things that we improve on Sora data, and everyone's like, "It's different. This is terrible." And then in two days, you forget about because you just get used to it. Um, Peter said, I use it as a guide, meaning the rewards and where to compete, but the matchups in the competition are very important, just hard to value. Yeah, I, I agree. Um, and Philly Dilly said with 50% of division one getting relegated, I think Sober really wants movement between divisions and doesn't want them to be static. I, I, I think so too, but the, um, it, I, I don't know how, like at, at some point, if enough people are taking weeks off, how does it work that like 50% of those participating, but then the next week, if everybody's participating now, we have a, this ballooned division one. Um, so I don't know. It, it, it's confusing to me. Um, John said, at the very least, create a clear difference between classic and in-season in the lobby. Yeah. So apparently... It's much better on the app, uh, but it's it's not great on the on web. And the other thing I would say, I might as well just show share my screen here. Hold on. The thing that gets me is that so when I was doing lineups, um, I got we got like late Juan Brunetta news, and so I had to take him out, and I took him out of one of my lineups, and I I didn't know which one he was in. Um, so let's see, he was like a contender. So I couldn't tell if, so this icon here, this like exclamation point, I don't like that they use the same one for an incomplete lineup versus a, an empty lineup. And so I, I, it just wasn't super easy to, to see. I mean, obviously I clicked here and then they were all here. Here's my lineup for the midweek. If anyone's curious, um, at least one of them. So it's just, it's a little, it's just a little confusing. Peter said the math is very wonky with the boxes. It's a fixed number, but yet it was advertised as a percentage. Is it fixed because they know how many people will be playing? So it, I feel like it, it's fixed based off of the number of people who could play, but they don't know who's going to submit a lineup. And so, yeah, it's, it's very, it's very strange. Um, Chani said, I saw a thread from someone making suggestions for improvements, made some really good points. Hope so rare see it. Maybe. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the all of that stuff, I I really don't know. I, it it was exhausting. Um sorry, Philly Dilly said, my understanding is if you don't get relegated, 
if you don't register in transition, you don't get relegated, but if you register, you can still get relegated. So if it ends up half the teams are in division one, get yourself relegated division two, easy win. I don't, there are no more easy wins. So we'll see. <clears throat> um, yeah, I, it's so the, I will say that the, so I was just about to say what, what Peter says here. I do want to say that I enjoyed the chaos though. I don't, I don't know if I enjoyed it or maybe it wasn't quite as chaotic, but the, it was nice to, to think of other things than just here's my champion America lineup in rare plus and I'll, I'll play it. And it's funny cause we, We've been saying that the new lay the new gameplay was like easier because you'd have your contender team, you just throw it in, but like there's nothing, it's really not that much easier. And I was going back and forth all week, like uh, talking with Andy and Parrot yesterday. I had like all star and um and all the cat modes as like my priorities, and woke up this morning and was like, nah, I'm just gonna play the regular like contenders is what I like. So I had like a, a lot of really important cards in my gallery out this week or expected to be benched or likely benched. And so like all the work I had been doing work, all the, all the work I had been doing to get a lot of these cards in for this new competition structure were unavailable to me for this game week. And I was like, tilting my face off about it and basically had to remember it's not just for this game week. Like I didn't buy these cards just for this game week, but it is a little frustrating <laughs> to like get a bunch of cards. And then you're like, here's your opportunities. Like I have an entire challenger super rare lineup. I could not play this week due to injuries or being rested. And we'll see. Uh, Peter said he's going to be worried in August when they remove all-star and cat modes. I, so I'm not, who knows? Who knows? Um, like they made a point that like special weeklies will run on the weekends. And so I wonder if that will include cat modes, whether it's for specifically for ether or not, I assume not like not thresholds, but we might still have all-star. We don't, the, the prizes could be terrible, but who knows, but the considerations. So yeah. So I basically ended up going into contenders division one, like, I described it. I was chatting with Surf about it. And I think I just got to the point where, excuse my language, but I was just like, fuck it. Let's go. I I have been working towards trying to get Division One Contender Super Rare Classic. I have a lineup. I'm putting it in. Stupidly bought a card from Pavel just to make it even worse. But I'm like, this is this is how we play the game. So let's go. And so I did it. And so I really didn't prioritize uh, Cap 240 much. I actually had to change my Cap 240 Super Rare lineup at the last minute because um, because of that Juan, no, not the Gory Ron, like Tigris. Um, I didn't quite know what to do until we said JPH and MMD season. I played, um, I played JPH in Cap 240 Rare, and I went for... Uh, did I go for the highest threshold? I don't know if I did. Um, yeah, so uh, Agent Cooper said, uh, Brunetta is not necessarily out, but the last line of projection I saw has him out or, you know, being on the bench because they play Columbus Crew next midweek in CONCACAF Champions Cup. So uh, this was Surfula. Surfula. Sorry. Um. So, yeah, so it's, I, I was saying to somebody this week, maybe I said it on stream, I can't even remember. Anyone who says what you're doing is wrong before the today's deadline doesn't know. None of us know how any of this is going to work. And so the... Having somebody be like, you, you, that's what you're doing is bad. 
And if you have like any viable reason for what you're doing, and and a lot of the reasons are like counter to what people think. Like if everybody decides like one competition, the, the prizes are just awful. And they're like, I'm not going to play there. And then you're like, I'm going to play there. And they were like, why? We just told you not to play there because the prizes are so bad. And you're like, well, ever, nobody's playing there. So I'm going to go play there. We want to compete against fewer people. And if fewer people are competing there, I'm going to pe compete there. And so that makes sense. And so even after this game week, people are going to be like, if I had just played my contenders line, division three lineup in all-star, I would have won Mbappe. And it happens. Like the, we're not, we're not learning anything from this game week. We're learning that a lot of, and I think a lot of people are going to make drastic changes to either their strategies or their cards because of this single game week. And that I think is a mistake. Talk about like small sample size of things. Like I think people are gonna be like, you know, if, if they thought they had a really good lineup and then it turns out it just didn't perform well. And they're like, oh, I guess I just can't compete in whatever you're in. And that's not the case. Like we need to play this out. And we've had quite a long time to get ready for this. And we still have more time until August. And so I think that's, it's one of those like, somewhat uncomfortable parts now of so rare where you just kind of have to let the cards work and see if your plan is work will work in one game week is not enough to tell you if it works or not. Like frankly, a thousand game weeks is probably not enough. We don't have a thousand game weeks to test, but you, you, a lot of people went into this game. week confident that they're, that they have a plan or at least an idea of what they want to do. And now we just have to see it out. And if it includes like a few weeks of losing, like that sucks. Don't get me wrong. I expect it for myself. But we can't judge everything on one game week, which I realize is really ironic coming from somebody who was just bitching about having all of these cards that they couldn't play this one game week. Shaforkel, do Sora did have any plan to put import button for lineups? Um, that is up to Sora. It is not up to us. I'll put it that way. So if if it's something that you want, I would encourage you to contact So Rare and tell them that. Agent Cooper said, there's never been a game week so perfect to bring your rabbit hunting show back for. Should come with a mental health warning. No, I'm not, I'm not going to do that. I, I, I really am not going to. Um, Toby said he likes my in-season contender rare uh, with M. Well, it's MND captain, so of course you like it, and it's going to win. Oh, actually, I'll bring up uh, just to complain a little bit more about so rare. I'm just kidding. So this lineup, uh, which I don't think is is really that good, um, but this Pablo Barrera until two hours ago was Emil Fredrickson, 2023 card, which was new season until yesterday or Wednesday. And now it's not. And so I had to find another in-season card and that wasn't as fun because I didn't want to play that card. Um, I put, Actually, I moved Fredrickson right here next to his boy, Douglas Santos. Um, yeah, I, I, nobody... Philly Dilly said, tired rabbit hunting show, wired captain hunting show. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, I... Yeah, I, I think we just need to play it out. And there should be some kind of calmness to that. Of, I have my cards. Maybe you do recognize like some places where you can improve, but it does feel like, and, and not everybody has done this. And so I don't want to pretend like everybody has used the last two months. I mean, has it been about two months that we've known about this? To get ready for this time. But, but I, I really, I really want to emphasize that if you have been, if you are somebody who had a plan and executed that plan and have gotten to this point 
you cannot use this single game week to determine if it, your plan was good or not. And we just have to kind of wait and see what happens. And that that's it. That's it. Um, Jebsy, I wish deadline was always this time in the US. I'm on Western time, so it's 8 a.m. now instead of 7 a.m. Since I come from work at 11 p.m., that extra hour is so helpful. Oof, that is, you're, that's not an ideal. Yeah, there are a few West Coasters I'm, I know that, yeah, it's early. I mean, frankly, the when the deadline was, it used to be 6 a.m. Eastern, so 3 a.m. Pacific. And that was like, yeah, Thursday night, that's it. That was when they changed it for the early Korea and Japan games and then decided they actually hate the Asia region. And so they moved it back. And I'm just kidding. It's just that they like Europe more. Uh, and so, yeah, they, so like Thursday night, I like submitted lineups, went to sleep, woke up, and I was like, oh, I'm great. I'm already dead. Um, yeah. Toby said, I battled the negativity for a bit on Discord because negativity breeds negativity, and we don't have enough information to say the contender is bad as people were saying based on the prize pool. So, I'm glad you brought that up, Toby, because I also have a problem with people saying things are bad. Just generically, like, this is bad. When it's bad for them and not other people. And so, like, I think Champions is bad. I don't think anybody should play Champions. I'm just kidding. I think Champions is bad. For me. That doesn't mean everyone else should. Jonathan B said the special weeklies are bad. The, we don't know. You don't know that. You say it yourself. The lack of info is mental. Yeah, we don't know. Agent Cooper said, do you agree with Quinny's take that Division 3s might be whaleless, or did you prioritize all your Division 1 teams? I think whales are everywhere. So I don't think there's any whaleless. Um... Like Pranksy submitted 102 lineups this week. Some of those are in the lowest divisions for this week because they have to be. Sean submit used an Usmane Dembele super rare in a limited lineup today. So, yeah, yeah, 102 lineups. He 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 tweeted a great video of it actually. Let me see if I can find it. Because it, it makes you realize just how absurd it is. Uh, where is it? Is this it? Oh, yeah. Hold on. Let's expand this puppy here. We'll start, start from the beginning here. See a division? Yeah, see a bunch of division fives. Actually, what was that division? Hold on. Oh, so he bought a bunch of, so he must not have had any limiteds. So literally all of his teams in Premier League limited are division five. What do you think his lineups look like? Do you think he just bought a bunch of tier four and tier fives? Anyway, so let's keep going. Yeah. Um, Bunch of Division 1s. He's got a Division 4 there. Yeah, all the Limiteds are Division 5s. So it's going to take him a few game weeks to get promoted. You see, we're still going here. Apologies for those who are listening, but yeah. Oh, and you know, a bunch of training lineups. Academy. Oh, that's funny. They still call it Academy there. We're going back here. Didn't they just call, didn't they rename it training? Anyway, it's a lot of lineups. Um, so Ben said, but nobody who is in division one can submit a lineup in division three. So you will have some spots without whales. That's fair. All right. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Well, that makes sense in rare and, and limited, not in super because super is only three divisions anyway, but that's only going to be this week. Like there could be people who are then just relegated. Um, 
Peter said, how long will it take Pranksy to open all of his boxes an hour? It's that's going to be a long like the Twitter you used to show them on Twitter, like the Twitter videos are not long enough. Um, division three rare division four limited should be wayless though, since their lineups will be in one, two in the bottom. Yeah. I mean, I think we're just overthinking it at this point. I, I, yeah. KB 97 said, I avoided champ this week and played my Bayern stack in 240, going for 390. Uh, who do Bayern have this week? Oh, Dirk Classiker. Right. Yeah. 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 So. KB97, were you, what division were you in? Like, so what division would you have been in in, cha in champions? Um, Arthur said, is it bad I need one more J-League in-season to play the J-League Special Weekly? Is that out? Did they announce the J-League Special Weekly? Because if it follows the MLS one, you only need three new, new season cards, not four. Um... Philly Dilly said, I think the strongest argument for lowest division being whaleless is that they won't be interested in the T2. I mean, I think whales will want to be all like as many lineups in division one as possible. Um, yeah. Mike said, simple statement is anyone with a limited or rare D1 team won't be in D3. Okay. This week. This week. But presumably next week, their Division 4 rare lineup will be in Division 3. Yeah. SR Monkey said, Prankster just bought limited keepers and then filled the limited teams with rare supers and uniques. Oh, for fuck's sake. Of course he did. That makes sense. I did realize that I should probably buy a bunch of limited li goalies to do the same thing. Um, I wonder if we have uploaded lineups or imported lineups yet. I mean, it, it's going to take significantly longer to for lineups to show up on server data now because, so I say that and Pranksy has a bunch, of, like this is Pranksy's page and it's like all of these lineups. So like Premier League in season limited. Yeah, we don't quite have them yet. So um. Yeah, when Pranksy wins division limited division with four super rares and uniques. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm not even sure that was all of his lineups. I think it's going to take us much longer to to import. There's just so many more lineups out there. And I don't even have that many lineups. That's a weird thing. Like everyone's like, I have so many more. And I'm like, I don't feel like I have that many more, but I guess I had a bunch of leftovers. But um I don't know. It's, it's a lot. And Mike said, at least Pranksy doesn't have to hide as many lineups as I do. There we go. Yeah. That's the, that's the spirit. Uh, the, yeah, it, it was just very different. Like getting ready was just very, very different. And I made a strategic decision this morning that was different than when I went to sleep. I have no idea if it's right or wrong. I feel better about what I did. So that's that feels like a win in itself. So, yeah. Agent Cooper said, imagine being a new user and this is your first ever game week and you play limited cards and then you see all these black, brown, and blue cards appearing on the leaderboard. I, I'm not sure if you're a new user, you even look that much. Most new users just follow their lineup and see how they do. That's all. I do think it was weird. Somebody showed it. Um, I don't think I have any like currently current uh, teams going, but I thought they said, is it when you click in? Yeah, it shows like if you, where you are on the leaderboard in terms of whether you're, so this, if you like click 17 times and get to this page, like you can see if you're in the, if you're currently being relegated or if you're, um, you know, going to stay or if you're going to get promoted. Um, Peter asked what the, what sparked the change for me? Uh, ambition. No. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, a big part of it for me on the super rare level was I didn't have a contenders forward 
like I just didn't have, I didn't have a fit one. And so it was like, all right, then I'm not going to play contenders. And then I was like, all right, let me go to all-star. And I didn't feel my all-star lineup was like four contenders and a challenger. And I was like, I just don't know if that competes well enough in all-star, but it was like, who knows what all-star is now. And, um, I ended up just buying a guy that I probably shouldn't have, but I did. And then I was like, all right, I'll, I'm comfortable enough with it. And I was like, I, I think I'm playing the game that it was it, that the way you're supposed to play it. Like I have an entry, go play it. And the cap 270 was the one that, that sort of had me back and forth. It was like, do I play 270 or all-star or just split them and try to get challengers and contenders? And Cap 240 super rare was like a bit of a priority for me still. So I, I went with that, but the, and I, it's, it's, it wasn't so much like a change. I mean, it was a change obviously, but I, I wasn't like hell bent on like, I'm not playing challengers or whatever. Uh, but I don't know this morning. It was just like, Hey, what does it look like if I change it? And I changed it and I was like, all right, I, like, I don't know what to expect. There was the the amount of discussion that went on this week in every discord i was in about like entry levels and how many people are competing for line, for rewards and what are the boxes and and there was so much concern about ev about other people and we don't know what everyone else is doing and so you know it's the same thing as like oh Celtic have a really good matchup this week. So you're going to get blasted in contenders. And it's like, well, what if they play all of their lineups in all-star? And, and, and because you won't get those answers, I find it to be a waste of time to even consider it. And that's difficult to not consider it, but it, it's the case that you're, it's, you're not going to know what everyone else is doing. You don't know if the lineups that people submitted in in all-star were their leftovers or their priority. And so you're like, oh, that's a lot of lineups in all-star. And it's like, how many of them are good? Cause like good lineups is what we have to worry about. And you're like, I don't know. And you're like, that's the point. You don't know. And because you don't know, you just need to do what put out your best teams where you want to play them. And maybe over time we start to figure it out. Maybe we see the prize pool for, for all-star this week. And we realize that the stars that they pay out are literally the bottom tier one, like the, the bottom of the tier. And if that's going to be the case until August, and they're like, yeah, you can play all-star. And you're like, okay, well, what's the best prize? And you're like, the last one on the list? Are you going to keep prioritizing that? I, I don't know. And so those, again, those are things that like we're going to have to see over time because I think there will be people who will look at the prize pool for this game week and they're like, see, they're not giving out any good prizes. And they leave. And then next week, we get the good ones again. And like, we just don't know. Um, so KB97 said, people tend to put their best team first and go from that, go from there, keep an eye out for that. But but that's the, like, you don't know what I put in first. Robert said, pranks, these lineups are just stupid. Let's limited lineups, excuse me. Are they showing up now? Mike said, I didn't look at any of those spreadsheets with the entry and reward info at all. Wasn't going to give me any, ed any edge as I only know my cards, much like poker. I like that. All right, Pranksy, what do you got here? Are they starting? I don't know if they're in yet for... Oh. Uh, is this limited? Oh, no, that's unique. Here we go. So his first Premier League in-season limited is Kelleher limited, Connor Bradley super rare, Enzo, Endo, and Darwin Nunez rares. Then he's got... So he did just do the, the limited. That's really smart. F funny thing that a lot of people are like want to avoid. Pranksy's better at this game than people give him credit for. And... That's tough for everybody who competes against them. Anyway, Dubravka limited, then uh, LaSalle's unique, Enzo Fernandez super rare, 
Sean Longstaff unique and Isak rare. And then we've got an Arsenal stack here. Raya limited, Ben White super rare, Odegaard rare, old season, Havertz super rare, new season, and Trossard super rare. Excuse me, unique. He's got a Liverpool stack in rare. So he has a Liverpool stack, a Tottenham stack, which is exactly the lineup I was going to do in limited. And a Man City stack with Trossard. Oh no, and Petrovic. There's a Man City stack in super rich. Jeez, this is I. I'm, this is just not making me feel good. Um, not that it makes me feel bad, but like that's. Yeah, agreed, Andy Black. That is ambition. Uh, let's see. Michael said, if so rare's algorithms, reward distribution, tiering, and division splits were perfect, nobody would be trying to find loopholes and everybody would strive for first place in division one, hopefully by August. I mean, it'll never be perfect. We know that. Toby said, I used the spreadsheet to prioritize in-season over classic was just a small change though. Uh, that's actually, I'm glad you brought that up because that reminded me that it was a conversation that mostly happened in the sort of Scandinavia discord that people were comparing the values of cards that they could win in classic versus the value of the, or the cash that you could win in in season. And I hadn't really seen that much of a, of talk, but the argument was basically because contenders is like the lowest level, the cards are the cheapest. And so the rewards therefore are not worth as much as like the challengers ones. And comparing the cash, like, would you rather buy, get like a tier one in contenders is like a $30 card. Would you rather just win $50 in cash? And it was an interesting dynamic because obviously a contender card could go, like cards can go up. It's possible. They usually go down, but cards can go up. And so I, I just had never really seen that mostly because like, I don't care. Like personally, I don't care. Philly Dilly, I think this division structure may work. Scrolling through EPL, S Super Rare Classic Division 2. I need better names for these. It feels like what a Division 2 should feel like. No Hallens, Pranksy, and YNWA teams are definitely good, but not straight tier zeros. Shouldn't they be in Division 2, though? Like, oh, is that, did you say Classic? Okay. So, like, Pranksy, does he even play Classic? Because if you look at his lineups, like, this is his super rare in season division one. So a straight man city stack. There's Diaz, De Bruyne, Rodrigo, and Hallen. And then his second division two is a Spurs stack. And then division three is a mix, mismatch, mismatch, mishmash, whatever. Petrovic, Van Dyke, Palmer, Foden, Salah. It's just a wild amount of money to spend on JPEGs. Anyway, um, Mike said, while on this, is there any order that Sora Data drags the lineups over, i.e. unique first or all-star? Oh, um, there is, and it, I, th I think it's just based on the Sora API, to be honest. Um, okay. John Andrew said, if you look up flexing in the dictionary, these lineups show up. Um, Agent Cooper said, it's like the old days when we had thousands of entries in global, meaning all-star, yet half of them weren't competitive because of using a common goalkeeper. There will always be uncompetitive lineups entered. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, we used to do like every game week, we did a graphic that showed how many lineups. And it was always like, it was an absurd number of lineups. I wish I could go back and remember. But I think it was like, honestly, like 70% of all star rare lineups had a common card. In them. And like, it was so hard to win a reward with a common. It was possible, but it was so hard that you were like, look at all these people. I'll never win a reward. And it was like, yeah, but if you're only really competing against 30% of them, now it seems a little more realistic. Um, Hound is a D4 card, yeah. Mishmash is a German word. What is it a German for? Um, David Taylor said, I did that in the Premier League ones. Tier three, four, and five cards average slightly more than the cash prize in division two and three for the lower cash rewards, if that makes sense. Yeah, it does. 
Yeah. Sir Ben, what's your opinion on the new rare instant buy option? I, I mean, we knew it was coming. I saw some people upset about it because they bought, like they bought new season cards, like for MLS to compete in the in season competition when fewer people were competing. And now they're like, now other people can compete because they don't have to wait for the auctions, which I both get, but also it feels like this was bound to come at some point. We just didn't know when. And I guess the timing is from a, from a user standpoint, it's better because if you want to compete there, now you can go out and just buy the cards to compete there. But obviously from a prior user perspective, if you bought the early auctions so that, which are probably ch still cheaper than the instant buys, then, you know, the increase in people who can participate and therefore potentially take your prize is higher. And so I, I understand both sides, but we knew this was coming at some point. And I think, I think it's fine. I don't think they're going to sell I was going to say, I don't think they're going to sell a majority of their cards that way, but I don't really know. But they 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 were clear that they want to be able to offer cards. They want to be able to offer more cards when demand is high. And I realized that kind of like, we all think of that and we're like, oh, so they're screwing the secondary market. But like people want MLS cards now. And so why not, instead of flooding the auctions which also still have like new J league, new K league, new river plate, new, all the other South America. Like there are a lot of cards out now and the auction, you can only auction so many cards at the same time. So why not offer up the, the ability to just pay a little more to get a card now and you can play. And I think it's fine. Like, I, I really think it's fine. I don't think they'll ever do it with super rares. I think that market is just so different than, than rares and limiteds. And I, I do think that they will cap the number of, of instant buys for rares, like they kind of do that with limiteds. Like you can't, I think after a, a handful are sold, like they won't post any more for like another day or two. And so it's just a matter of, of how many they will offer. I wasn't willing to just buy 12 Mbappes to see how long. Uh, Parrot said when all auctions and instant buys are done, do the cards go up? Hopefully, because then theoretically the secondary market is all that's left. But that's that's also why I'm not convinced they will always that they will have instant buy always. Meaning, like if they're like, would, I mean, I assume they have everyone on the market. Let's check it out. Twelve thousand instant buys for rare. So, like, if you want to buy this Messi, so Messi is point two two eight five. Do they, let's see, point one, so $639 was an auction for Messi four days ago for a new season. What was the number I said? 639 and you have to pay almost $800 now? So that's crazy. Like, I don't think these are flying off the shelf, but let's see. So like, even for Messi Limiteds, uh, also, We've gotten some feedback from people recently about the new, we've split up the new season in classic and they were like, I want to be able to see like all the scarcities. If there, it's, everything is just down here, there's just much more information. And uh, so that's where it is. So anyway, like I think the, yeah. So this instant buy messy limited is like very rare versus the, uh, versus the auctions. And like nobody's bought a messy right now like 606 yeah and now it's 800 606 that was the number 15 what did they say here is that 15 ay 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 oh it is why would we say 606 maybe it's a ETH conversion thing. Anyway, I just don't think they're going to sell that many of these. Like a premium, a, a, the percentage premium on limiteds was like high, but in raw fiat, it wasn't that much. So it was like, hey, do you want to buy this $12 card for 14? And you're like, man, that's like 40% more, which sounds like a lot, but it's like, eh, it's four bucks. Like, all right, I'll do it. In rares when it's literally 200, I just don't think people are going to do it. Um, 
And Philly Dilly's right. The the instant buy solves the problem that they can't auction cards fast enough in, at the beginning of the seasons. Jump shoot said instant buys are a good play for injuries. If you're the first one to buy one, next guy up value jumps. Yeah. So like those guys, like the backups are good. Yes. Um, Jono, thank you that you appreciate the new look. Halogen said, you may have talked about this already, but I thought the new competitions were weekend only, even when there were 10 teams covered midweek. Did I imagine that? Uh, we did talk about it already. You did not imagine it, or maybe you did, and we talked about it. But it's if 10 teams are playing domestic league matches, then the new contenders will be open. Um, yeah. John is a great line. So the so rare account will be called so rare 125% trades. <laughs> 125% trades equal equals ban. Um Agent Cooper said, instant buys aren't for me, but it's probably one of the best business decisions they've made, along with massively reducing the threshold payouts. Feels like Sober have a few good weeks to me, have had a few good weeks to me. Yeah, maybe. Sober Ben said, I think the instant buys are more interesting for the cheap cards to build your collection. They could be, although they're not as cheap. Like, that's the point. Uh, but yeah, you you pay a little more to get them directly into your gal into your collection, like boost your collection score and all that good stuff. And yeah, that's what it is. Uh, I think it's fine. I think it's also, it was expected. And so we can, yeah, we, we can't be like overly surprised about it. Stefan. Hello. Thanks for coming in. So yeah, it was just like, <clears throat> we just, Sora is very different now and putting all of those lineups in this week or today was a bit of a headache. And I hope there's a solution to make it easier because it, it, I I can't fathom how long it took Pranksy to input 102 lineups. I hadn't thought about that until just now, but that is insane. I think Sean, PSU fans, told me he had 70 lineups. And I... I yeah, I must be missing something or I just uh, got rid of too many cards in my attempt to consolidate. Um, Jump shoot said I hand entered 92 MLB trading lineups. That is, ins that is, wow. <laughs> that is crazy. I would never do that. I did 13 and I'm like, I'm done. Toby said, you know what else Sora is? Fun. I've had a lot of fun this week and having more lineups to follow is also fun. Yeah, I agree. I agree. It's just different and we'll get used to it and we'll be fine. Everything will be fine. We just need to not, um, not go overboard on like what happens this game week. Razaget, what's up? Good evening from Valletta. What is that? Where is Valletta? Wow. Valletta looks gorgeous. Look at this guys. Wait, where did that other picture go? Oh, Malta. Capital of Malta. Didn't even know. How about that? Razaget, are you also so rare Malta or are you someone else? Because that would be crazy. Malta's just bumping with so rare players, huh? I got to put Malta on the list of places to go. It's a long list, though. Um, <clears throat> it's funny. If I was in Malta, I would not sit down to watch me. I would just be, I guess it's, no, yeah, close to dinner time, I guess. Anyway, uh, yeah, that was exhausting. I don't, yeah, hopefully it gets easier. Hopefully it gets easier. Uh, the, I do want to say that there were, so we've done a bunch of changes re recently to Sora data on a few things. Um, speaking of which, uh, there's a new, uh, an updated version of this mobile app on iOS and Android. If you guys have not upgraded, please do so. There's going to be a video on this, or I'll tweet something about, but the being able to search a manager and like a manager's results is on the app. You just have to go to my so rare results. And then there's like a, a eyeglass, mag magnifying glass on the top right, that's how you search for other managers because people are like, hey, I can't like search my friends. And so that's how. 
Um, yeah, that's what you do. Uh, Andy Black Wuhan is not on my list of places to visit. None of the three towns are on the list. Um, so yeah, there's that. There's a whole bunch of other stuff. The redesigned player pages and yeah, it's all... Oh, right. That's where I was going with it. So sometimes when we change things, people get bothered by it being different. And a lot of times we see like, oh, they they just like changed it for the sake of change. We pretty much never do that. It, it, it's a total waste of time to change something just to change it. Everything is with a purpose to either make something easier or clearer or more accessible or more helpful. And so I hope so rare do the same because the lobby as it's currently constructed is it's work. Like it felt like work and it, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Agent Cooper said, just realized with the early English championship fixtures today, my challenger in season rare team is already finished. Only 103 points. Good job. They all have a second fixture. Yeah. So you're not done. Not at all. Not at all. Philly Dilly said all this excitement and none of my guys play until Saturday. Philly Dilly, my like, most important cards don't play until Monday. I have like a lot of Monday cards. Um, so we'll see. Um, so yeah, we'll see. Mike said it looks good, but it's impractical. That's so rare. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I, I don't know if it's, it's just different, so we have to get used to it, but it felt... It just felt a little clunky to me. And the idea of like putting, doing it on the app is, is like, there's no way I would put in 35 lineups using the app. Um, yeah, like no chance. KB97 says, said, I pray with the new so rare away goes the Friday night curse. Yeah, <laughs> we'll see. Ha oh, sorry. Halogen, is, I agree with you right here. They need to add a page that shows all the lineups together. I like the new UI, but that's missing. Totally. Agent Cooper said, I'll be in the rele relegation zone all weekend and then soar to a podium finish. That's the key. Yeah, late game hammer. Peter said, I liked it, but maybe it's because I don't have the same volume of lineups. I don't know what the number is where it just becomes like too many, but it... It, it it just became like not helpful. Um, like I want to, do I, yeah, for challengers. Um, yeah, I just, it, again, I don't know if it's just a getting used to or, or they change it or they'll change it right when we get used to it. I don't know, but it's different. And so we just have to figure, figure it out. Um, KB97, you can, if you want a lineup import from SoRare data to SoRare, you need to contact SoRare about it. Um, one of the rules when we use like uh, authentication through SoRare, so like when you link your SoRare account to SoRare data, so you can see your gallery and your results and all that stuff. One of the things it specifically says is that we won't enter lineups for you. Like that's a rule from SoRare that they don't want people doing that. And we abide, abide by that rule. There are other sites that don't, not for football, but for soccer or soccer, but for uh, basketball, but they let them, but let's not, we're not, we have no incentive to skirt so rare rules. We're pretty reliant on having a friendly relationship with them so that we can continue to build tools for the site and not ruin it for everyone. That's all. But it is a so rare thing. So I, so rare can say, yes, you can do it and then we'll do it. But as of right now, they're saying we can't do it. And so we don't, we're rule followers. That's all. <sighs> we feel okay for this weekend. We excited. I'm excited. It's Easter, a little bit of a feast on Sunday. Um, Parapress says, Di Maria starts AAA fixture against the bottom of the league, and I don't play him due to risk. Yep. 
Come on, server. Uh, Agent Cooper said, selling all my limiteds would help with building lineups taking too long, but I just can't do it. I love having loads of players and lineups to root for. Maybe this will change if it still feels like work. Um, yeah, uh, I might buy more. I'm definitely buying goalies. I tried to like, the worst part is you ever have a card where you see it. I, I'll use the exact example. It was uh Nico mantle that I tried to buy the limited for like, they were on the market for like $9 recently. Is that how much it was? I don't want to like his, his limited card has like exploded. Yeah. So it was, yeah, nine bucks. They were around 10 and I was like, yeah, I, I want one. And I was offering, that's what it was. They were like listed for 10. I was offering nine, like a dickhead. And then um, now they're, tw somebody paid 30. Good job, cash and ETH instant reply trades, 112 to 125%. Welcome. And then 18 for the new season. So anyway, I was going to buy one and then it just, it, the same thing happened with, um, Someone else. Who was the other goalie? Kelly Roos was trying to get back in the SP SPFL. Market wouldn't let me. Uh, Poach said, I was excited about my AAA Norwich stack till they conceded within six minutes. Oof. Yeah, that's no good. Um, KB97, I'll make one of those Twitter profiles posting every day, day X of asking Sower to let us import our Sower data lineups until they allow it. Go nuts. Do it. Uh, Blue Tomatoes, he, there's, there's nothing new about Mantle. That's the funny thing. So the, like he's been starting their mid table, but then it looked like, so this is the relegation playoff and these lineups, excuse me, these fixtures were not announced until last Tuesday. And so everyone thought the season was over and then Everybody who had, like, I have a rare mantle. I should have gotten another one, to be honest. Uh, and then the fixtures came back and everyone's like, oh, and they realize how bad it is because he plays the bottom half of the league and everyone just goes. And I think he was a triple A this week uh, matchup score because he's got a phenomenal matchup. And so, yeah, it just price go up. <sighs> Your words, not mine, Mike. Uh, Anion said... Just after lineups were locked, Dortmund announced Malin won't play. I hate this club. I mean, were you going to get a lot out of him playing against Bayern Munich, though? Toby's probably this, too. The people realize they needed more goalies. Agent Cooper said, I think it's just FOMO as managers realize how many goalkeepers you need to play three teams in each competition. Yep. Uh, Poach is about is on team rolling locks, which I am. Uh, rolling lock, maybe, maybe. Late swap, I'm out. Hmm. All right, all right. Um, that's all I got today. I hope this was enough of a break. I don't feel like we had any moments to breathe. To be honest, we should have. I should have just done another food show with Andy and force everybody to just forget about Sora for a little bit. So maybe next week, we'll see. Um, my expectation is that there will be shows on Monday. Um, yeah. Blue Tomato said, you're also against Rolling Locks, Laird. Just look at your rivals tickets. Uh, I'm not against Rolling, like Rolling Locks I get, um, and I would be okay with, but um, yeah, I'm out on. I'm out on late swap. Anyway, happy Easter to all of those who celebrate. I'm I do, so I will be stuffing myself on on Sunday with a feast that um, will make me regret it on Monday. But yeah, I, my expectation is that we are fully normal next week. Uh, times may be a little adjusted, only because, to be honest, my kids are off from school and it becomes a bit of a shit show. So. Uh, but yeah, the expectation is Monday game week preview and, um, you know, so we did a show with Sean Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I mean, all good stuff. Um, so yeah. Uh, sorry, I was reading, a. 
Mike said, good stream though, letting off the pressure from what just happened was like being tangoed for those who can remember in UK. I don't know. Uh, anyway, thank you to everybody. If you could please like the stream, whether you're watching live right now, even if you're you're in there lurking and you've watched this entire show and you've chuckled at a few things and you read the stream, this chat and you like went to go in to like say something that maybe everybody would have loved, but instead you were just like, oh no, never mind. Um, if you could like the stream, that would be really helpful. Everybody who has been in the chat, thank you very much. Literally this show cannot exist like it does without you guys. So thank me, thank you, thanking you. I would like your stuff if I could. Um, but yeah, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Shout out to Quinny. Uh, welcome to the new SoRare, or at least the transition phase. Good luck to everyone. And we'll see you on the other side.